Before we formally start our discussion for today, let's have a minute of silence as we begin with a solemn prayer. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love and have lots of fun. Shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. What a wonderful day, my young scientists! Welcome to Science 5, where learning is fun and exciting once we explore i am your explorific and scientific teacher teacher joanna that will help you discover and experience the world of science so hang in there for we could answer your questions on what why and how make sure to follow our rules while watching this video Please bring your pen, paper, learning materials, or modules ready for we are about to learn new lesson in science. And do not forget to take picture while you're watching this video. This will serve as your additional output. To brighten our day, I would like to request all of you to stand up. Up, my young scientists! For we are about to energize our mind and body through an action song. So come on, let's sing and follow the action. You've got to have a circuit. 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 That's how it goes. And when you've got the circuit and electricity flows, you've got to have a circuit. It's got to be right to make heat so movement or light. You've got to have a circuit. That's how it goes. And when you've got the circuit and electricity flows, you've got to have a circuit. It's got to be right to make heat so movement or light. Last night, last night. that all of you are now fully charged so you may now take your seats and find a comfortable place that will not interfere our lesson in our previous lesson we have learned how light interacts with different materials can you elaborate the different behaviors of the light and how it interacts with different materials the different behavior of light that interacts with different materials are reflection, which is the bouncing back of the light when it hits an object, refraction, that is the bending of light as it passes through the different objects, absorption, when an object takes in light and not reflecting it back, and transmission happens when light passes through some materials. Great! You elaborate how the light interacts with different materials very well. To know if you have mastered our previous lesson, 
Please analyze and answer the following statement given. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Show your answers through the use of drill board. Here are the expected answer. Impressive! I am amazed that you really understand and master our previous lesson. Great job! <laughs> to continue the fun in our lesson, we will have a short game presenting the electrical circuit. But before that, please do remember the standards while I am presenting. Here are those. Pupils are expected to Number 1. Listen carefully to the instruction. Number 2. Understand the idea of each description. Number 3. Take down notes of the important or unfamiliar words. All you have to do is to analyze and identify the given pictures and find the missing word. Then you will answer my questions after the game. So are you ready to have the game? Welcome to our electrifying game show. This game is called Four Picks and One Word. Are you ready for the fun? Come on, let's play the game. Here is our first game board. Can you identify the four pictures given in the game board? Correct! That is a battery. This is the second game board. What do you see in this game board? Very good! That is a light. The third game board is here. Can you guess the picture in this game board? You are right! It is a circuit. Here is the next game board. Will you identify the missing word in this game board? Good! That is a switch. And for the last game board, will you name the picture in this game board? Very nice! That is a wire. Good job! You solved the game board very well. You're such an electrifying gamer. While we're playing the game, what have you noticed in the given presentation? The words that are given are commonly found in a circuit or parts of a circuit. That was great! Can you identify the parts of the circuit that is given in the presentation? Very good! The parts of the circuits that are given in the presentations are battery, switch, light, and wires. From the clips that we have seen a while ago, those are the electrical parts of a circuit, namely, the source or the battery, the switch, the light, and the wires. So electrifying, right? We all know that electricity is important in our daily lives. Most households have several devices that use electricity. All this provides comfort, convenience, and make our life productive. Before we proceed to our lesson proper, will you explain how does the electricity flow? Two conditions must met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for electricity to flow through. Excellent! Now that we have established the conditions in order to make the electricity flow, we are going to identify and analyze the two kinds of electrical circuits to further develop our understanding 
on how the electricity flow. To enrich our idea, here is a sample of a simple electrical circuit and let us identify each part and analyze its uses. Here is the simple electrical circuit. Let us take it one by one. Here is the first part. What can you see in this picture? That was nice. It is a battery. Will you explain what is a battery? Very good. The battery is the source of energy to the components of a circuit. This is the second part of the diagram. What can you see in this picture? Great! It is a light bulb. Will you describe the use of a light bulb? That was nice! The light bulb is the source of light and the indicator of the flow of electricity. Here is the next part of the circuit. Will you name this part? Correct! That is a wire. What can you say about the wire? You are right! The wires used to connect the light bulb, battery, and other components of the circuit. This is the last part of the diagram. What do you see in this picture? Very good! This is a switch. Will you explain what is a switch? Great! The switch controls the flow of electricity in a circuit. So taking a look with all of this, what have you noticed about the circuit? We notice that there must be a source of electricity and must have complete path for the electricity to flow through. Very nice! So how many parts does a circuit have? Will you name it? Correct! There are four parts of an electrical circuit, namely battery, light bulb, wires, and switch. In order for us to see the flow of electricity, we are going to differentiate the two kinds of circuits. I'll be presenting a sample clips of a circuit and let us analyze and describe it. Here is the first video clip. What have you noticed in this clip? The electrical wires are attached to the positive and negative end of the battery. Very nice! How about the parts of the circuits? The wires connecting to the battery are connected to the bulb and switch. Very good! This diagram represents the path of electricity that is complete. What can you say about its electricity? Correct! This circuit is allowing the electricity to flow through it and make the bulb light up. What do you call to the process when you turn on the light bulb? Push the switch to on to connect the wires from the battery to the wires of the light bulb. Excellent! That is called closed circuit. This diagram is called closed circuit. Again, what is a closed circuit? The closed circuit has complete path of electricity which allows electricity to flow through it and makes the bulb light up. This is the second clip. Can you explain what do you see in this clip? The electrical wires are not attached to the positive and negative end of the battery. You are right. There is a gap or no complete path from one end to another end of the circuit. What have you noticed? in its electricity. Very good! This circuit shows that the electricity does not flow because the parts are not connected. What happened to the light bulb in this diagram? The bulb will not light up because there is a gap between the circuit. Good! So what do you call to the process when pushing the switch to off? It then disconnects one end of the battery to the other end of the light bulb. Nice! It is called open.
open circuit. This diagram is called open circuit. Again, what is an open circuit? The open circuit has a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end that doesn't allow the electricity to flow. Generally, the switch provides the control that opens or closes the flow of electricity on the circuits. So now, taking a look with those circuits, again, what are the two kinds of circuit? That is right! The two kinds of circuit are closed and open circuit. What have you noticed with these two circuits? The closed circuit allows the electricity to flow while the open circuit does not allow the electricity to flow because of its gap. You explain it right! Good job! In Science 5, there is always time to explore. So you are now going to explore more about the electric circuits. So make sure you are ready because it's... Activity time! This time, my young scientists, you are tasked to create your own electrical circuit and answer the following questions after experimenting and observing. But before that, Please do remember to follow the standards in doing an activity. Number one, listen attentively to the instructions. Number two, be careful in answering the given activity. Number three, follow the time allotment for the activity. Number four, be cooperative during the task given. Number five, observe keenly in gathering data. As you perform the task, we should follow the safety precautions that are needed while doing an activity. Learners should never work in the absence of their parents or guardians. Follow all the written instructions when conducting the experiment. It is important to be alert and cautious when conducting the activity. If accidents take place, do not panic. Inform your parents immediately. For today's activity, we will be needing a seesaw, electrical tape, wires, a bulb socket, a bulb, a switch, batteries, and screwdriver. First, let's put the bulb on the bulb socket. Next, attach the wires on both sides of the socket. Secure the wires using an electrical tape. Then, attach one wire on one end of the battery. Let's connect the switch. No current flows, but when the switch is on, the circuit is complete or closed, and current flows. Here are the sample outputs. To elaborate more in our lesson, again, what are the two kinds of electrical circuits? And please differentiate these two. The two kinds of electric circuit are closed circuit and open circuit. The closed circuit allows the electricity to flow while the open circuit does not allow the electricity to flow because of its gap. Wonderful! Now that we have established the idea of our lesson for today, let us discover more! Welcome home, my young scientists! Roaming around in our home, we see different electrical appliances. So how can you show your sense of responsibility in following the safety and precautionary measures 
and using an electricity. We will apply and share to others our knowledge in following the safety and precautionary measures in using electricity. That was great! Can you give some safety measures to avoid burn from heat and create fire? or be electrocuted from your household. Safety tips for inside your home. Always ask adults for help to use anything electrical. Don't use anything electrical near water or if you have wet hands or are standing in water. Be extra careful when using anything electrical in the bathroom, like hair dryers, and always store electrical things away from the bath, sink or shower. Never stick fingers or anything else into PowerPoints or into electrical stuff. For example, never stick a knife into a toaster. Don't use cords that look cracked, split or worn out, or if they heat up when plugged in. Don't use or touch a PowerPoint if the cover is loose, missing or broken. Tell an adult if you see any dangerous cords, plugs or PowerPoints and never touch them. Ask an adult to cover unused PowerPoints with safety caps, especially if there are little kids in the house. Don't yank electrical cords from walls. Always pull by grabbing the plug in. Very well said. It seems that you are very responsible in following the safety and precautionary measures in using electricity as we discover the different parts of the circuits and its kind. Let us apply it in a short activity. All you have to do is complete the given diagram, identify the kind of the circuit, and label its part by showing your answers in the drill board. Here are the expected answers. Wow! I am impressed. You did a great job. Very nice! <laughs> to test, if you really understand our lesson, I'll be giving you a short evaluation. You have five minutes to finish your work, and after it, we are going to check. Identify the following description by matching the column A with its name in column B. Write the correct letter in the drill board. Five minutes later. Oops! Time is up! I hope that all of you are done with the evaluation. So let us check it one by one. Here are the expected answer. I hope that all of you correctly answered the evaluation. Great job! <laughs> to further develop your understanding about the closed and open circuit, here is a short assignment that will help you retain the idea of our lesson. Illustrate an open and closed electrical circuit Label each part of electrical circuit. Draw your illustrations on a separate sheet of paper. And that ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoy and learn something from it. Again, this is Teacher Joanna, your science-terrific teacher, signing off.